What's up guys, this is Steve from Santec IT Solutions. In today's video, I'll be doing a quick demonstration and review of Windows 10 Technical Preview. Before I get started, I just want to discuss some of the new features. First and foremost, the Start menu is back. Yes, I'm super excited about this and I hope you guys are too. Can't wait to show you guys this a little bit later. The Continuum feature automatically adjusts the user interface from standard desktop mode to tablet mode. So for example, if you're using a Surface tablet, and you detach the keyboard, it will automatically adjust into tablet mode. Windows is now calling their apps universal apps. This is because they're fully compatible across all your Windows devices. You can now seamlessly run your apps across your Windows phone, tablet, and desktop. The share feature lets you share items across multiple apps. The new Snap Assist and Virtual Desktop allow for a clutter-free work environment. And now the command prompt has clipboard capability, so you can easily cut and paste into command prompt for those of you who like to use command prompt. All right, guys, this is it. This is the Windows 10 technical preview. Let's take a look at the new start menu. First thing you'll notice is the power button is back. You can also adjust your account settings from right here at the start menu now. Our jump lists are back, so we have those. Those are cool. And you can pin programs to the start menu, just like in Windows 7. And now we have a new feature to the start menu. You can actually pin tiles to the start menu. This is really cool. So you can um, actually resize them if you like. You can turn them off. You can uninstall them as well from right here from the start menu. Another awesome part about having the start menu is now you can resize it. So you can actually change it to a more horizontal feel or a classic Windows feel and adjust to your preference. For those of you that would prefer to have the start screen instead, you can simply change it back. All you have to do is go to Navigation Properties, click the Start Menu tab, and deselect Use the Start Menu instead of the Start Screen. And you just restart your computer. All right, let's take a look at the Universal Apps. For those of you that use Windows 8, you'll remember that the modern apps open in full screen mode by default. Well, that no longer happens. Now it opens in its own window, which is awesome. You can switch it to full screen if you like, and then you can always switch it back. So let's see some of the new multitasking abilities of Windows 10. I'm going to go ahead and open a few apps. This is the new Snap Assist feature. When you snap an app to the left or right of the screen, it automatically assumes you'd like to snap another app. So when you select one, it will automatically snap it to the opposite side. You can also snap in a split screen mode. As you can see here, I can split up to several apps onto one screen. Another neat feature is the task view. There's no more arrow flip in Windows 10. That's gone. But instead, we'll use um, virtual desktops. So I'm going to go ahead and add a couple virtual desktops. And I'll show you how those work in a moment. So this is our first desktop, and we have some programs running here. What I'm going to do is switch to our new desktop and open up some other programs. All right, so you can see now I have several different programs running across the different desktops. On my first desktop, we have these four apps running. On the second desktop, we have the notepad running here. So as you can see, when you're actually on your desktop, you'll see what apps are open across all desktops. And if you select one, it'll bring you back to its designated desktop. Command Prompt now has clipboard compatibility, so I can cut and paste anything I'd like into the Command Prompt. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that right now. And you can easily copy your output from your commands.
I just want to thank you guys for watching my video and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.